Well, I'm the one that hit the deer. You hit a deer? Well, Tell yeah. me about that. <laughs> I hit a deer 45 five miles an hour. That's all dent. Basically, the deer hit there, flipped upside down, spring over the top. Put that dent there, cracked the headlight, and that was it. Really? Did you know if the deer got up and went away? or? I turned around, came back, and it was gone. So it obviously really? Had, obviously, he survived enough to leave the roadbed. <laughs> huh. So how long ago did you do this then? Hurricane Katrina, you said? After Hurricane Katrina. After Hurricane Katrina. And it looks like you don't even have to be exactly perfect with it. Yeah. And that, you still get the aerodynamic effect with the cracks yeah, in there? Yeah, the surface layer at these speeds is like about... You know, half inch thick, quarter uh -huh. inch thick. Wow! Because you, you, you can, like you can throw a pile of a bunch of fine sand on top of the car, drive down the road, and it's still there when you stop. Oh, really? You ever tried like throwing like you're on the beach, you get the sand on the top of the car, huh? And then uh, drive down the down the interstate at the end, and the time the car, sand's still there. The surface layer, you know, at, if you got up to 40 miles an hour, would be more critical. But right at lower speeds, you got the surface layer is thick enough that there's always a little bit. bit Bumps and stuff aren't gonna affect it. So. Yeah, that's a, this is incredibly clever. You got to ask yourself why Detroit can't come up with something they like know, this. They know all this stuff. This is a copy of a not, basically a copy of a 1939 Maybach. They, they, right, right. They know all this stuff. They just choose not to do it. They figure people they got burned a little bit with the uh, price of airflow. Yeah. So they don't want to sell anything that looks different from the average. Yeah, I guess that's what you're talking about here is a little bit of an aesthetic change. Yeah. Huh. Well, it'd be, be, be neat, nice to go through and clean up and do all, all up smooth fiberglass and all that. But right. My whole thing had to pay for itself and fuel savings. Yeah, so that's I'm, incredible. It only costs 400 bucks. How, ma how many hours do you think you sunk into it? Probably about two weeks total time. Two weeks total time. Plus I have more interior space than I used to have. Right, that's a lot more. You could lay down and sleep in there at yeah, night. Yeah, I have. I've, I've kept at it. Really? Yeah. Watch the stars. Nice. Out the back window there. Wow. I'm really impressed. You know, I, I, I haven't washed it for months, so I've been driving up in, in the, you know, North Carolina mountains with the salt and stuff, and you can yeah. see it's, it's the cleanest car out there on, during the wintertime with salt in the road. Yeah, I could imagine because of the what you call the airflow. Yeah, no dead bugs, no, no, no dust. <laughs> Huh. Just no wind noise. So are, do you have a engineering background? Not really. Well, I'm, I, I'm a technician. I'm, oh, really? I just basically got tired of waiting for the car company to do it, so I just researched my subject myself. And